absolutely. Yeah. I hear you got some knowledge and experience that might help be helpful to me too. So, Peter, you know, Margaret, yeah. you know, yeah. me, you know. Okay. Um, what I didn't put on there was the acceptance of the previous. Oh, minutes. right. Can we vote to accept the previous minutes? Uh, All in favor? Um, I will prepare, so I'm going to abstain. Okay, so okay. unanimous. Welcome. Hi. Bobby Demon. Ah, okay. Are you here for the mosquito? Yes. Okay, we will, um, we are going to hear from our health inspector and then we will skip right to you so you don't have to wait, but Ben has to go back to get back to his family. So, Ben, thank you for coming. And I just, we uh, are impressed with all of the work that you're doing oh, and the, you. the quality of the work. Trying the best I can, you know? I, uh, uh, yeah, the what so just as an update to the board, I'm trying to put together a task force for, um, uh, hoarding. Um, I've been in contact with the Council on Aging. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had a meeting with them building. Fire was invited as well, but unfortunately, they have some serious illness going on. Uh, with two of the people that I invited. So they'll have to, uh, we'll have to set up another meeting with fire at some point. But the goal is to get an idea of what we've been doing with hoarding. Um, you know, right now, because we didn't have a health agent proper, you know, board of health is handling all that stuff. You know, we, the different rules and responsibilities might need to shift. Yeah. So now that I'm here, so, you know, there's, that's the discussion that's happening is like, what, who takes that, who takes that, who takes that? And we, so it's a little Excellent. bit, uh, like kind of an SOP, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so anyways, I'm trying to put that together right now. That's an update as far as that's concerned. The next, the other one is, uh, so I've gone out on a few reinspections. There's a facility I went to today that was the fourth, that will, they will have the fourth uh, inspection after this one. This is the third and they failed it. Um, did you hear me? It was you're the gonna, third and they failed to, it. You're going to have to put your mouth Yep. So it was the third inspection and they failed it. Okay. Um, uh, this is a food inspection. And um, so... I'm going to have to go back for a fourth time. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is a little quieter now. The reason why, why I'm bringing that up is I had mentioned to the board previously that I think there should be fines in place. Yes, we agree. Stuff. So um, I spoke to uh, Jennifer and uh, she had mentioned that if uh, the collector, I believe, that's in town hall could uh, uh, give us, could process our tickets for us. So essentially, if I write a ticket, I can hand it to her okay. and then she takes care of it just like a parking ticket. That's how it would work. Um, so at this time, I don't have the proposal in front of me, but if I was to write a proposal yes. um, and provide it to the board, then would the board be uh, willing to take a look at it? Maybe the the, board, is in, like the board is favorable and in support of doing that. We have discussed it before, but we didn't uh, formalize it yeah. because we were waiting. So yeah. yeah, let us know what you want to do. Okay. Uh, some appropriate fines. Yep. And uh, we'll we'll vote on it. What what I'd like to do at my last one was was um uh, uh, verbiage that would say may so that allows okay. the inspector to make a decision as to whether it mm -hmm. is actually something that should be fined. So the word may would be in the in what you would pass. The other thing that I would uh put in there would be like the penalty that we had was a hundred dollars. So for each violation. Now again the may is there. So you know if they have Ten or excuse me, five outstanding violations. I might only write them one ticket because they're really working on on four of them, but one of them they just haven't done anything about, right? And it's the third time I've done that. That might get a ticket, but it allows uh, uh, the inspector. Everybody, it's, you know, it's enough that people will take notice, but it's not so much that it'd be debilitating. Yeah, no, you got to have a little bite. We we, yep. we agree with that. Right. So that's what I would. That's the the basic building yep. blocks. I just have to work in town hall to make sure that you know. All, there, that it all goes smoothly. Like I could just hand the ticket in. It's right. not going to be surprising to anybody. Right. Yeah. So that's what I got to do as far as that. So the last thing I have on my Excuse agenda. Excuse me. Can I can I ask a question sure. about that? So this is they failed three inspections that you've done all three on. Correct. The last one is this isn't egregious, but the last one is related to they got to get some equipment prepared because it's generating standing water consistently and there has been a fly infestation there because of that mm -hmm. standing water and i they have had a repairman out i know that they've shown me invoices but every time i go there you know it's the the water remains yeah, so it's, it's, inadequate yeah it's, it's inadequate that's right 
So I'm going back until I get it resolved because I do know, even though it's not a critical violation, it's standing water on the floor, the issue is it has, we have evidence that it's caused pest problems. Mm -hmm. Because of that, that's a more serious situation that I'm going to have to absolutely make sure it gets dealt with. Yeah, so uh, let's let's get the fine thing in place so we can okay. pay for your time. Any other questions about that? No, okay, thank well, you. The last thing I have uh, is uh, permit link access. Uh, you know, I, I, I know that, Peter, you've been working on it. Uh, but I really do want to be able to write these inspections digitally, right? Mm -hmm. And and so we, we definitely just, uh, you know, I would just push the board. I know you already you guys are working on it, but we're, if you can. We're going to be discussing, you're gonna be discussing it, it, it. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, as much as we can, uh, you know, yeah. we really tr should try to get those inspections online as yep. soon as possible. Well, we're we're going to have a definitive plan of action tonight. Okay, sounds good. And, and uh, for, just for a comment. Uh, Emma, I'm doing the hoarding thing. I know you've worked with hoarding so stuff before. That's what I was going to say, is that we kind of had like a mini SOP okay. before with like Mitch and um, Evan and Mike with the fire department and me. Got got it. So any help you can provide, like, a, you know, any assistance, even if it's just discussion with myself at some point to help me along, I'd greatly appreciate it. Cool. And I think kind of the tools and maybe like the... Um, really case management pathway yeah, that, that sounds, I was using. Excellent. Yeah, that sounds really good. And and that's all for me. Thank you, Matt. All right. Great. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. I Thank appreciate you for everything. it. No Bye. problem. See, see you next week. I will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, Jeff, 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 Jeff. Thank you for slipping me in. My name is Bobby Kamen. I've met some of you before. I'm the uh, chairperson for the Mosquito Opt-Out Committee for Hadley. Seems early in the season, but... Um, so what what do you need? Where... I, need, I need a recommendation that the Board of Health um, re recommends that the opt Hadley out. opt out of okay. 2023. I see some language if you want. I support that. Does everybody? Uh... I I do support it. I just want to um, kind of voice some challenges that maybe I had in an in a previous role mm -hmm. um, when we were trying to submit for the mosquito opt-out that even when you submit an application, the state, because of whatever hazard level is deemed locally, can override it. Yeah, we understand. That. Okay. We're just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're not getting it. Yeah, we got, went through it last year. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. Not yeah. Getting it's it. just a calendar yeah. thing. We're, yeah, we're, just, we're just supporting that. Got committees. it. Yeah. So let's vote. The, the town of Hadley Board of Health recommends that Hadley opt out of all spraying conducted by the Massachusetts State Reclamation and Mosquito Control Board for the calendar year 2023. I vote yes. 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 Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate the work you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank you really. Thank you. Very much. Thank Thank you. Oh, no. No, no, last yeah. year I said I support it, but I'm not doing the work. <laughs> I've done it. All right, wastewater COVID testing. We got our second report. I don't know if we're they're doing. I think it's weekly. I thought it was going to be twice a week, but it's once a week. Anyway, we only have two data points, and uh, I sent them to the two of you. Uh, and uh, the uh, uh, wastewater COVID was uh, significantly lower mm -hmm. this week than last week, but. It's it's all about trends and it's an interesting piece of data uh, and we will keep an eye on it. I'm wondering if anybody thinks we should we can we're allowed to post it on our on our website just for anybody who might be interested. Not. Okay, so let's start doing that. Okay. Um, I kind of had trouble looking at that and following some of those. You it's, know, trying to figure it out. It's yeah. a, I would like it broken out like an individual Excel spreadsheet with a pivot table. It's just bit, so you can, because it is from the like 300 to the 241,000, um, because the case, what was it, the relevant case viral load has to be 241,000 for us to have it be marked. Um, so, me too, just for how my brain breaks things down. It's, it's, just like it's complicated. Yeah. I, mostly for me, I'm I'm looking at trends. So, I, I, are we saying then just to uh, put a link up? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Love that. Love yeah. it. Better. Uh, I'm going to skip here a little bit. Uh, we have that collaborative uh, survey, Emma and Peter. Are we having any progress on that? So, I don't mind. 
I have time this weekend to okay. review documents in the office. I just need to be able to access our office and where they are. I know Peter's off, um, but that's when I would have time to be able to do that. And I think I'd really be able to nail it out in an hour, not even. So when you say documents, what are you, what are you referring to? So I can point you in the right direction. So in the survey, they asked for like, do we have a scan previous inspection for like a camp, which we're probably not going to have from Deb and Dave. But yeah, I, I think they're looking for like 2000 was like 2018 or something like that. Right. I, I don't think I think you're welcome to look around in the yeah. office, obviously. But if you go to the um, the filing cabinet that is facing, let me see if I've got my geography right, facing Middle Street. Yeah. If any of that old stuff would be in that filing cabinet. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's another cabinet that's now in, in there uh, that's facing the town collector's office. Okay. Yeah. That wasn't there when you served previously. Right. But that has all newer stuff. Got it. So, so if you look for anything old now, again, I don't think there's anything around from 2018 okay, well, that's that yeah. kind of stuff. Yep. But again, you're yeah. welcome to go in. And... Uh, I'll after the meeting, we'll get you a key. <laughs> okay, great. Wastewater testing. We skip number six. Uh, or let's see, budget needs. Who is that on you? Peter, do you have any permits? Uh, I do. Do you, do you want to talk about the budget first? Or do you want to say no. half a lot? No, okay. let's do the permits. Oh, okay. All right. She wants okay. to get the short ID. Okay. <clears throat> so permit number one is from the Pulse Cafe. Uh, they have an application. This is for 2022. They never sent their ZIN. They sent their application in. Um, we figured that out. And so they've attached all their uh, documentation. Ben's looked at it, so on and so forth. So uh, you guys need to vote on that uh, before I send it out. So just so you know, Emma, uh, once they approve it, or once the three of you now approve it, uh, what I do is I email it to the food establishment. Yeah. I'll be doing that sometime, I don't know when, sometime Monday or Tuesday, because I'm, I'm in the old office Monday or Tuesday next week. So. Um, the second one is from Michael's, the store Michael's, their uh, the Walmart yeah. mall, I guess. Um, this is their 2023 application. They're usually okay. on the fall. So, um, so instead of waiting for um, the vendor to do what they're supposed hey. to be doing, hey. um, I prepared it manually as, as always. And again, if you approve it, then um, I will go ahead and email it to them next week. Excuse me. The third one is from a company called Berkshire Mountain Bakery. They're in Housatonic, and they want to um, the Winter Market. Beg your pardon. Sorry, I'm interrupting, and I should be no. listening. Oh no, it's okay. okay. Uh, you, you probably said what I'm just about ready to say. So they want to participate in the Winter Farmers Market. Yeah, right. okay. That's what I thought you said uh, at the mall. Um, okay. That starts. Uh, end of November, ends end of March. So okay, we should also uh, remember to let Ben know about that because mm -hmm. at some point he probably should, should go over it. there and right. like, take a look. So we'll right. just yeah. yeah. So so I told them verbally. About you did that. okay, great. But again, we can you know, remind. Yeah, you. yeah. So um, so those are the three that uh, you guys have agreed. And again, uh, you know, Berkshire Mountain they sent us okay can we vote? Pile of documentation and permits okay. yeah here. vote on the permits yeah all in okay. favor in favor. Sure. good okay thank you permits done okay now i would like to move on to number eight the permit link update so mm -hmm. what i would like to say is this so that i would like for us to avoid a lengthy discussion which rehashes uh uh the situation basically and chime in but basically i think the situation is that uh we've waited over uh 14 months uh after paying the vendor uh and we are still not up and running and i find this to be egregious and there have been multiple communications we don't have to go over them again we've reached out to them we've reached out to them 
uh, and the service has just been really deficient. And the bottom line is it's permit season again. We have a health and food mm -hmm. inspector and we are not up and running. What I propose, and if you agree, that's fine. If you disagree, just speak up. What I propose is that I would like uh, for Peter to have a conversation with Carolyn and bring her up to date on what's going on and tell Carolyn that we would like the town council to become involved. And I think that we need to have some uh, legal backbone here. And if I need to send a letter to the, you know, to communicate mm -hmm. with them, but the lawyer will be able to tell us how to do it. And I think that we, we need to turn up the heat here. Our other option is to ask for our $12,000 back. I would prefer not to do that at, at, at first because the rest of the town, mm -hmm. other part, you know, of our partners in town are on permit link and we would be able to use permit link for the food mm -hmm. and for our permits. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm proposing our plan of action is that Peter speak with Carolyn when he, when that conversation can happen, hopefully sooner rather than later, Carolyn's away this week that, um, uh, you know, once Carolyn understands the situation, uh, that Peter, that you can speak with the lawyers and see how they would like for us to move forward. I'm happy to be part of that conversation, but I think you're better equipped or than I am, but I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm not pushing the responsibility onto you, but I would like for you to be kind of leading that, that conversation. All right. So before you vote on it, because you, you need to vote on that. Um, before I go see Carolyn, yeah, 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 yeah. undo the uh, the ball of yarn, um, just just so that we're all on the same mm -hmm. page, okay? Um, the select board approved the purchase of this product mm -hmm. from the vendor mm -hmm. in 2021. Right, yeah, we're, okay. we're we cut a check in June of 2021. Okay, so here we are, you know, November 2022. We don't have the product. Well, that's right. So just to right. bring, bring you up to speak. Yeah, so it started have, when I was here, and I was right. part of all the demos right. and stuff. So, so we don't have the product. That's that's number one. Number two, um, I did some poking around myself. Uh, there was another department in uh, in town government that had a product from this vendor, and they discontinued using it. And they had a big conversation with the president of the vendor. This goes back to, I think, 2019, 2020. Um, so they kicked them out. So I think the only department that's using this particular product right now is the building inspector. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they're using it is that's what they used when they worked in Southampton. Correct. So do you think we're better off trying to get our money back and going through the process of finding a new vendor? Or do you think it's worth trying to turn the screw, put uh, some pressure it, on them? So. If it was me, and again, I don't vote. You no, guys no, we're, do we're asking, we're okay? asking your opinion. If it was me, there is no way I'd be doing business with this vendor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, there's just absolutely no way. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and so, all right. I, I've also had a conversation with our treasurer. Asked her, "Do you think it makes sense to get our money back?" Her response was, "Absolutely. Why? Why haven't we already done so?" Okay. So, all okay. right, so okay. I'm making a new proposal, okay? Peter, speak with Carolyn. Tell her we want to get our money back. Uh, and if the lawyers need to help us, let's let's go with that. I mean, if you think it's dead in the water, then there's no reason to spend more time with them. I, I just don't see any reason to do business with somebody that can't deliver the product, right. number one. Number two, if they deliver it a year and a half late, what, what kind of service are we going right. to get? I agree. Kind of a, it, it's just it's just garbage. All right, so, I'm, sh garbage. Okay. so I'm shifting my plan. And for me, when we were doing the demos back at that time before the product was purchased and purchased because it was um, a choice product by the building inspector and already being used, it wasn't my first choice in terms of ease of use and navigating it. Okay. Um, so I would be interested all right. And, so, yeah, Emma, can you look into some other yeah. options, understanding that we want the food to be able yep. to? Okay, good. 
So I'll yeah, be here. So, let, so, let us. So you guys need to vote on that. Yep, we will. Okay. Before, before I have so, a conversation right. with anyone. I would like to make a motion to vote, make a vote, um, or make a motion to ask the end our relationship, end our relationship with permit like the vendor and ask for a refund. All right, Do you all have those, a second? Yes. All those in favor? We're in favor. Uh, okay. Um, but see, you know, if we need the lawyer, let's, you know, let's just get, let's do it. I'm, I'm so tired of this. Yes. Let's just do it. Kel Carolyn, we need some action here. Yeah. Well, so, so I'm with Carolyn on Monday. Okay. Now, this won't be on, just to let you know, that this won't be on top of the list. Right. But again, I'll be with her Monday and Tuesday. So somewhere, when, when somewhere the in between, we're, yeah, I'll get five minutes for her Peter, and let her know. However it works. Yes. Okay. Good. And and yeah, and then we can find out if the letter needs to be written mm -hmm. by the attorney. Yeah. Yeah, tell her that you want to talk to the attorney to find out the best way to do it. Um, so then we also need to let Ben know. Because Ben's been going down the path. Yes, you're right. Of, Emma, of use, using this product. Emma will talk with Ben and they can yeah. look at products together. Yeah. Good. Do you have time for these kinds of things? I want these things. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, I make my own homework, Susan. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Okay. All right. Oh, we got here. That's good. Okay. That's great. I spoke with uh, Kevin Quinlan this afternoon. Uh, he has forwarded us some information on uh, septic fees. Does anybody have that where they can? I do, but the print, well, you know, where they're printing it out, they can it out like that. Can you read it? Bring it up. Um, uh, I'll say yes. Let me let me pull it up. He said, "I think we're pretty much in line mm -hmm. with uh, the other towns." Um, oh wait a minute! That was not from yeah. Yeah, I think he's, yeah. He sent okay. he sent an email of the Yeah, Let's see if I can. Make it larger. All right. Um, so pretty small. Okay. Um, can you even see it? Even for me, it's just too small. Yeah, really. What was the email that he, where's the email that he had? Email. Yeah, read the, and, he, and, let's and so at, here's the septic fees. Okay, right? we don't need, yeah, what was his, so, what is um, it saying? What does comparison said? We're pretty much in line. Yeah, uh, we seem to be in line with most towns. I think we should maybe add or change the fee schedule to show $50 for plan review for resubmission. Yes. Mm -hmm. And $50 for reinspection of system install. Yes, so I think we should do that. And otherwise, he felt that the fees were in line. He did say today when we were talking on the phone that some towns have uh, extra observer, uh, but that that's not going to work here because right. we don't have somebody who's we, available to go out. Captain has that. Yeah, to go out and do that. He didn't feel it was appropriate well, for so us. We have Richard Wilga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This is not okay. Wilga. It's right. something okay. different. Yeah. All right. So uh, I would propose that we keep our fees where they are, if they look like they're. Okay, so now I was able to do it. All right, so the septic installer is 100 for Hadley, 100 for East Hampton, 75 for Northampton, 100 for Sunderland, 150 okay, we're, for we're Hatfield, and 100. Yeah. Hauler fees are 175, 100, 150. So Hatfield is charging more both times. Perk test, we charge $250. Uh, there's a time differential for East Hampton. Same with Northampton. Sunderland, sort of the same. All right, so we're yeah, in. So we're sort of in line there at $250. Septic plan review, $150. And More there, the yeah, anywhere from up to $300 dollars an additional plan review we don't have we don't so charge, that's what so we're we talking should. about so let's add that yeah 
at fifty dollars. Okay. So and so that would be fifty. Additional septic inspection seems to be on par. Mm -hmm. Uh, Title V witness there. D doesn't said we shouldn't have that. All right, we shouldn't have. Yeah. And then finally, well permit. There are only three, four, three, five towns that have it. We do not. Well, let's have a well permit just in case. All right. So they start at one fifty. One is seventy five. One is eighty. One is two hundred, and the other one is two hundred. So Southampton is two hundred. Waitley, Williamsburg, West Hampton, 200. Belchertown, 80. So we could do 150 or 200. Uh, then I say we, you know, we're trying to 200. not gouge. 200. But um, I would propose 150. Yeah, I, I, I would go with 152. I, yes. I, I mean, yeah. Well, just it ranges from 75 to 80. Good one, even. It's great. So we'll need to make a permit for that because I don't think we have a permit app for, for what? Well, yeah, I haven't in the right. 18 months I've been on board. There's been no request for wells at all. Right. Which it's is super. Should we weird. vote on that? We should vote on that. Yeah, you definitely need to vote. We need to vote. Uh, more all right, so we'll make a motion that um, we create a well permit and that it would be for $150 for inspection. All those in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. And do we have a, a permit for the additional plan? Do we need to do that or is that just sort of for the additional what? Plan review? We don't need to put anything no, in place on that, permit. do we? No, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what, yeah, typically what happens is that somebody will email or call yeah. and I'll push it to Kevin and Kevin knows what to do, whatever that is. But I don't know if he actually cranks out a yeah. permit. I don't think and, that happens. You know, I think he signs the application. Yeah. And Ben could be up and running by the first of the year. Is is Richard and Kevin not going to continue or is well, Kevin ben in addition? Continue. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin is interim. Uh, Wilga uh, still goes out and observes yep. uh, the park tests and installations. Yep. And um, so we pay him. He, he gives us a quarterly. Correct. Advice. Right. Although we'll see. That might be something that Ben's able to do. Um, certainly, if there's more. Uh, yeah, more so hours. The, hours the, get the issue is going to be the hours, right? All right. So, um, you said we'd have to create a well permit form. Mm -hmm. So, what I would like to propose is I'll look at um, other towns and municipalities and what they're doing, and then I'll bring it to our next B day. Okay, so we can approve it. Thank you, Emma. Um, yeah, that's what we're saying now. It was very important. Um, oh, yes. Peter, when you're upstairs or whenever, Jennifer, like a month ago, as soon as she came back from leave, mentioned to me that she had our emails all ready for us. We're each supposed to be getting a town email. She said, I'll have it for you next week. Didn't we? Was there ago. something about. Uh... Oh, no, that wasn't. Oh, it was Nurse at Hadley or something. Yeah, that was the one that March used, uh, which, uh -huh. if yeah. I remember correctly, she didn't really access directly. Um, I had it like forward to her South Hadley gotcha. email, so she mm -hmm. didn't have to log into multiple. Alicia, our nurse, was using that email. Okay. Yeah, but she's not uh, on not on staff and in her image.
All right, here's a, a week old voice message that I didn't pick up. This is, okay. Um, anyway, do we have any, does anybody have any other uh, business? So are we, are we skipping budgets? What is that? Number five? Number five. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, the waiver application process. No, no, number five. Oh, budget. Right. That's the huge but thing. Then, but then also the yeah, waiver. So let's, seven. can we talk about the waiver thing first? It's, Who, it's, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Did you meet with uh, Jane? So I did briefly. Um, and just that, yeah, the, and the way the regulations are written is that any waiver, um, the organization would have to come to a hearing, present to us as Board of Health the rationale why we could probably have one public hearing that's posted, um, and then after at that hearing, when people when organizations can see their case um, for why it'll be a hardship, after that we can have a, a standard application that they just fill out and we maybe have available and it can have some clauses on there in terms of what's the reason for the hardship, you know, with their supporting documentation, is it budget costs? Do they have 8 million plastic straws on hand already? Are they a church? Um, so it's pretty much deciding what what's gonna be our pathway with that. So who, who is the body of people that will be getting these applications for variances or whatever you want to call it? Is it the Board of Health or is it somebody else? So the, it's up in the regulation, the town regulations, it's the Board of Health that approves them. And so a complaint, so is the process that a complaint would come you know, like, the, the, the establishment A is still using yeah, the plastic. Are we talking about complaints or are we, ta are we talking about application for advantage? We're not enforcing. No, it's, I'm not talking it's, the, about hard, it's the hardship deferment application. That's what I'm talking about. So, so if a business says I have 3 million plastic bags, I want to use them up first, right. they would file with us telling right. us the story and then we would decide yeah you know the, well we'll give you six months to use those right. up and then you have the correct yeah so but we're so, not doing the enforcing of people mm -hmm. who are not following the plan so who so who here i ask who's doing the enforcing i i'm not sure that has been figured out nor was it explicit in the hey i lost but it's, it's not going to affect the board of health. Okay, that's what I just wanted yeah. to know what are, okay. All right. So again, so the applications will come in from XYZ store or restaurant. Or, or First Congregational Church right. or um, North Hadley Congregational Church that does the monthly meals. Um, and, and they'll have people. to come in to the board of health meeting and it be a public hearing. Yeah, of we would have to post a public hearing saying that we're having it about the plastic bag, the plastic reduction by law regarding that we would need to post a notice in the paper, have a public hearing saying that we're going to have. He's, yeah, it's going to be busy. Okay, yeah, it's going to like take that on. It's um, one, two, three. So, but. But what I would like to propose, which is why I wanted to bring it up for discussion here, in terms of like the pathway on how we can, it's it's not an urgent thing, right? I mean, it kind of is. It technically goes into effect in January, the law. So I just really wanted to look at getting our ball rolling and things organized. Um, that I wanted to look at other municipalities and what their deferment application, their hardship application might look like and connect with them. Um, so to do more information gathering Great. and bring it back to our next meeting in terms of like maybe a, a proposed plan on how Great. to move forward. It's Great. It, it has the, the policy or what was voted on two town meetings ago, um, was that ever publicized with the 
whatever food establishments. The no, churches, Jane wants to use, was hoping to use permit link to get word out to everybody. Okay, so so she talked to me about it like whatever, like five months ago. Right, not happy. And and I told her, I said I can do it, you know, with or without permit link. Yeah, yeah, let me know. Right. So to me, it sounds like that's really step one. Correct. It's like. The town, the, the the stores may or may not know that this is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, churches, schools, right? American Legion, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, so who's who's doing that? Is 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 going to be the question? Right. We don't have anything. It's yeah. not our. It's not our show. No, I understand that. Yeah. But again, if we're, if we're sending out, if you guys are sending out something, saying, okay, here's how you can apply for a variance. They don't know what you're talking about. Right. So somebody's going to tell the stores and the churches and the schools right, first. Right, right. Hey, this is happening January first. Well, that's what this letter was supposed to be. Right. That's that's what. I'm so saying. I think Peter's saying, like, who's that, sending the letter? Yeah, and I'm sending the that, letter. That that has to go first. Right. So Jane, it does. Jane, saying is that's not our. Uh, Susan, I understand that. Right. But again, if if Emma's going to do all this more, and you guys are going to be ready to accept these applications or review these applications, schedule public hearings, the public doesn't even know that any of this is even going on. So I, I, to me, somebody, yeah. somebody needs to communicate to Janie that, hey, somebody needs to let the town know. I right. think so, so the Jane, town, I think so is the, very aware of that. Yeah. What's that? I think Jane is very aware of that. I. I think she is, but again, I don't think anything. We have to make sure. I don't think it, 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 it kind anything of done. It. Is that we should be? We need to approach the select board to make sure that they understand that that it is up to them, since they somehow would have a master list of all the companies here, businesses in town, and that that. You know, if we're going forward with this as of January 1st, what method do they have in place to make sure this happens? I think that's all you're trying to find out, right? Well, yeah, I mean, that, like, that, that, what, who, yeah, what is being because, done to get this message out? I don't, all the I don't think that there is any, from what I understand, I have not talked to Jane recently. I don't think that they have any plan on how that's going to happen. Right. That, that's what I'm saying. And that's I, I'm saying. I don't feel like, I mean. Well, it makes sense I, to I, find I, out. I didn't that vote, you know, I didn't approve it. I don't, I, I, so I'm yeah, just. I, I totally agree with you. What I wanted to know is what's our role. Right. But if, but if we start sending out a letter saying, here's how you file for a variance. Oh, I wasn't planning on sending that out until some kind of notice went out from the town right. telling all the businesses. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I will. That, right. That, so we're just, just waiting. Mm. I mean. Okay. I, you know, again, that's. I, you know, I, I can, just want to make, I just I make can sure. Talk to, I can talk to Jane again this yeah. week. I, I don't. I, I'm I'm happy to yeah. do that. See, see, I think what's going to happen is that the board of health will be ready to go. Right. But somebody mm -hmm. needs to take the first step. Yeah, nobody, businesses aren't even going to know about the. Right. right. I know. That's, I, yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. that's what I'm saying. I I, that's what I'm saying. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. I so I'll say that Jane. Susan will talk with Jane about informing businesses. About what is the select board's, how is the select board planning on notifying yeah. local businesses about the. Lo um, yeah, informing businesses of the upcoming yeah. ban. And I'll do that information gathering about yeah. other town. Okay, so that can segue us into the budget needs because I think we have many things to talk about with the budget needs, but I think we should, we're going to need to put in for extra administrative hours. And mm -hmm. I would recommend that we put Peter's hours up to like 10 or 11. No, I'm good. I'm good at seven. You don't want to do it. I'm good at seven, but seven gonna, hours a week. But we are going to need extra help. 
Yeah. So we I mean, could, we could put in for another, yeah. even if it does, even if it's not you. Yeah. I mean, I I can do some here and there, but I really don't want to commit to ten hours a week, fifteen hours. A no, week. no, I I get it. Yeah. But let's that, let's put ten hours into there. It yeah. doesn't have to be to you. Yeah. So when when is the budget due? And has anybody sent out any forms? I haven't seen any. Carolyn sent out. Just to, yeah, I think, just to start getting ready. I think next month, because it gets voted on. It's things time. things have to come in next month. Yeah. Start working, you know, mm -hmm. sitting down with her uh, for next month. Yeah. So, um, I would, you know, we have uh, we had talked with her about uh, the health agent going full time. So I would put that into our budget. Um, um if do we need money for the waste for the for the you know the water, water testing, testing? For how mouth? much was that like oh, a little bit over a thousand so one year of water testing I, or am i i think it was significantly lower than that uh there was something like 300 right yeah it wasn't a lot of money oh. So we want to have that in the budget. Um, community outreach and needs, I'd like to get that back into the budget. Is that through the town nurse? Uh, it used to have kind of its own line item. Right, it was. We so separate it, from we the had it last year, but we didn't get it in this year. So I'd like to try to get that back. And um, what sort of things then did it cover? Well, so like say someone has a hoarded house, but they can't afford a dumpster, or they need to be cannot they have imminent risk in their house, but from infestation or impasse or hazards and it's deemed not livable, then we need we're supposed to post them in a place if there's no shelter. I know last year it was a lot of three thousand dollars, so I would ask for that again in the builder. Um okay. Is this like what happened last year when there was the damage caused uh at green green leaves when the pipes burst and that whole building had to be evacuated and people had to be um uh yeah the fire department also has budgeted money for so so that was a combination of the board of health and we didn't we didn't support, we didn't that. support nobody asked us uh -huh. but certainly if it's from like a health inspector reason then it's supposed to live within our department. The cost for that, and I just know, because from my institutional memory, we've never had money built in for those types of things, and that kind of made it challenging. Oh, I'd also like to put in some dues and subscriptions because we're paying for them to join some organizations. I would put five hundred dollars for that. Yeah, we we have money we there have. this year, but I it's a very small amount. I can't remember what it is. Yeah. But it's like, so I would put five hundred like, for that. Like MHOA and stuff. Well, yeah, but also yeah, there's some other things yeah. that he wanted to. Yeah. What about um? What about the nurse? What's that? Uh, what the about nurse? the nurse? He, she's the he or she. That position is what seven hours a week or seven and a half hours a week. So we two or five. Is that is that still the right number or is that? Yeah, we just got to find somebody. So just to follow up on that, um, we did have an application. Uh, she has not responded to my last two emails, so she was supposed to come tonight. So I I think she's taken another position. We just got an application yesterday. I reached out to the woman. I think it was yesterday. She immediately responded. She was not able to make tonight's meeting, but she would like uh, perhaps to meet next week. And I think the faster we move on this, uh, 
you know, there's not a big gap where they find something else from her. Out of she gap. she gave us some hours that she's available next week. I had said to, what I would say is I don't think all three of us <laughs> have to meet with her. Uh, Emma, if it's a high priority for you, we can let you see if any of those hours are good for you. Uh, let me see if I... You know, I, I basically we're looking for somebody who's willing to be here two, six, and a half days a week and do some teaching and work with Haley and some programming and just mm -hmm. that's that's our 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 nursing situation. That sounds great. Uh, you want to let us know what hours she yes yeah, so I'm I'm just going to see if I've got anything on her. Um, I'll have to I'll have to find her. All right, well, I can't put my hand on that. I will send that information out. All right, so uh, she's available Monday. The 14th, 9.30 to 12.30 or 2.30 to 3.30. Wednesday, 2.30 to 7 p.m. Thursday, 2.30 to 7 p.m. Friday, 1 to 4 p.m. Okay, who who feels like, do you want to be a part of it? I I feel confident in either one of yours interviewing skills okay so okay you're, so yeah, all right you're, so you're, you're working just, yeah okay. so that's fine so right, so margaret monday monday 9 30 to 12 30 right. or 2 30 to 3 30 how about 11 on monday let me check um november 14th yes i can do 11 a.m on let's monday have, let's have meet here And if something comes up for you, it's fine. I can do it. Or if something comes up for me, you can do it. We'll meet here. Right. So do we have Peter, what do you what how do we how do you suggest we move forward with this budget type plan? Um, so the, the way we did it last year is um the the uh budgeting model is sent out by uh Linda Sanderson and Carol to all the departments on the boards. Yeah, I just I just ran with it. And then I just ask you guys, you know, what do you want to spend on this? What do you want to spend on that? So I'll handle the. the so we'll wait until we hear from yeah. them and then we'll get going. Yeah. So they'll send it out to, again, all the all the departments and all the boards. And I'll just grab it and then just start filling in the blanks. Okay. And then. They haven't sent it. Right. They haven't sent it out. No, I haven't seen anything. Okay. That's, why, that's why I asked if you had seen anything. I, have, if, I can't remember, but yeah. I. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Last okay. year, they sent it to the Board of Health uh, mailbox, you know, okay. email box. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen anything yet. Okay. I think it's partially because Carolyn just hasn't been around. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but, uh, yeah, so so once we get it, I'll handle it. You guys just tell me what you want in the blanks. Okay. It's, you know, then, then the, what then happens, as you may recall, is that then... 
uh, Carolyn will have a meeting with you all. I'll I'll be there, and uh, Linda Sanderson will be there, and you know somebody else from finance, I guess, will be there just to justify um, you know, any okay. increases or any changes. Got it. I mean, last year's was, was pretty painless, so. <clears throat> All right. Anything else, anybody? The, uh, no, the only thing I had was next meetings. Um, we've got holidays in the way and whatnot. Um, but I also want to be sensitive to the fact that uh, people are going to be applying for permits. Mm -hmm. So I know we normally meet bi weekly. Um, I'd like to, you know, if we can stay close to that during November and December, because right. I don't want people waiting four weeks. To get right. Pregnant. So two weeks from today it's, is Thanksgiving. Right. So, so want, should we meet up the day before? Yeah. Let me check. That, that's what I was going to say. Can you do yeah. the 23rd? Mm hmm. All right. Okay, and then after that, we're looking at December's. So December 1st is the first um, Thursday. So that's two weeks. Wait, we got four yeah, days. All right, so yeah, I can do the 23rd. And Sorry? then December, okay. December 8th. Yes, yeah, so, so December 8th is two weeks after. Yeah. So, so. So November twenty third and December eighth. December eighth and then December twenty second. All seven to eight, right? All right. So all at seven um, o'clock. Yes. Thank you. So we're talking about December eighth. All right. Yeah. All right. And the twenty second. Well, let's limit our Christmas presents to under five hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> don't don't go crazy. Susan, okay. you're, you're getting crypto this year. Don't go crazy. You're getting crypto. Oh, golly. You all are so much. We're fun. F U N. That's that's the only other thing I have. All right, we ending the meeting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.